Okay, let's look at one of our first lessons with digital art in slides and drawings. And we're going to make an emoji with shapes and just to get used to how to manipulate those shapes, how to duplicate them, how to resize them, move them around. So we're going to do all that. So here I am in a slideshow. You can go to slides.new to get one. And I'm just going to change the size of this. So file, page setup, custom, and I just want to make this 10 by 10. All right, and I'm going to make an emoji under my shapes. I'm going to start with a circle and just click in the center. Now, the important keyboard shortcut, Control-Alt-K makes it bigger. Control-Alt-J makes it smaller. That's command on a Mac. I'm just going to try to put that. Hopefully, it's pretty near the center. If I want to confirm, I can go View, Guides, and Show Guides. Oh, and I'm like a pixel or two off. One, two. Yeah, holding down shift and the arrow keys moves one pixel at a time, as opposed to just the arrow keys by themselves. It's a little bit more. Okay, so I have my shape, my circle. Let's pump this up to 24. It's this kind of gray color. I'm going to make it a bold black. And paint can does the fill. So a little pencil, that's the border. Paint can is the fill. The three lines, that's the border. Weight. I'm going to go with this one. That's emoji-ish, right? Yeah, and I'm keeping it a little bit above because I'm going to put a tongue on there. Okay, we need some more shapes. I'm going to go to my shapes, and I need an eye. And I'm going to do the, the winky eye first. So if you hold down the arrow keys, it goes side to side, right? But if you hold down the alt and the arrow side to side, that changes at 15 degrees. It can rotate it. If you hold down alt shift, that's one degree, I believe, at a time. Okay. Same with the shape, if I'm moving it, I can move it quite a bit, or hold down shift, move that shape quite a bit, just a tiny little bit. Okay, let's see how big this is. Nah, that's not bad. Okay, let's give that the winky, winky eye there. Maybe I'll stretch it. Oh yeah. Now do you eyeball. Boop. Control Alt J, move it on over. Maybe a little bit bigger. Perfect. Make sure it's super white. Okay. I could just duplicate this. Control D, Control Alt J, make it smaller. Kind of like this too. If you click on a shape and hold it down, it's showing me that it's actually aligned with the circle behind it. Pink can and black. Ha! Okay. Now Control D, you can duplicate. There's some other ways to duplicate too. You could click on it, hold down Control. And duplicate like that, control and shift. Whoops. If I click on it, control and shift and drag, keeps it in line. <laughs> Got a bunch of them now. Move it over, move it down, line it up. Control Alt K. And I'm going to make it a little bit wider. I don't always skew the shapes like that, but in this case, it's fine. And the little orange handle. Changes how concave or convex that little line is. Stretch it down a little bit. Yeah, a little happier. Perfect. Let me get rid of these. Control backspace. Remember the undo key is over here, or Control Z. Yes, we're Canadian. Now I need a tongue sticking out. Shapes. Got my little. Whoop. Did I get it? I don't think I did. Shapes. Oh, again, I missed it. Oh, did I get it? No, oh, I did. Ha <laughs> There we go. Click. Alt. Arrow key. And by the way, if you ever have something selected, let me go grab this one, and you go into shapes and choose a shape, that new shape will have the exact same color and font sort of thing as the shape you just chose. So it's one quick way to make new shapes with the same formatting as an old shape. Notice how I'm using these guides to line up. All right. Super pink tongue. Awesome. Only other thing I need is the little line down the middle. And then I am almost done. It's pink right now, but turn it black. View guides. I'm gonna get rid of my guides for a second. Oh yeah. Now I could control A and move it down. I also like to click and drag and move things around. Last thing, let's get a background. Click on background. I'm just going to use a color and done. And bada boom. 
there is my emoji. Oh, one thing I noticed, I don't like having this line around the eye, transparent. Perfect. And they might not be lined up perfectly. You can worry about that. You can just, just kind of make it perfect. Control, hold down control key. This is a really great tool actually. Control, click, control, click. Now I have two shapes selected. So go ahead. Oh, I see that I have a little border on that guy too. Right there. Ooh, transparent. Voila. And there is the super fast how to make an emoji in slides. Feel free to play with these. You can make all kinds of fun emojis. I even have one on the website that has, you know, the rainbow mouth and all kinds of crazy things. So have fun making your own emojis.